on this channel, I'll be talking about whatever I fucking want. So, you heard about this last night. It aired on CNN. It's called the Republican Presidential Town Hall. And basically, I'm just going to give my, my defense of CNN from airing the town hall and Caitlin Collins who did a brilliant job last night. I'm gonna give my thoughts on her and her deliberate wittiness to call out Donald Trump. Donald Trump called Caitlin Collins a nasty person just because as the moderator uh, you get to moderate in this town hall and while of course yes you're not supposed to be asking the questions you're supposed to keep the show running as is because you're the moderator and all that I typically couldn't care less if Caitlin Collins was going to ask questions I don't care if it's not a debate like Trump himself was going to spread baseless false claims anyway and that's why I watched and expected him to say this because I knew he would I expected him to say this so that Caitlin Collins can fact check him on air live As it happened. Even though she didn't do it quickly right away in some instances, she still did a great job in my in my opinion and she really was tough enough to at least hold Trump accountable. So, with that said here, um, I'm going to bring up a video that I found that explains what I just said about Caitlin Collins holding Trump accountable from the CNN town hall last night. Here is the results of this. It was not a rigged election. It was not a stolen election. You and your supporters lost more than 60 court cases on the election. It's been nearly two and a half years can you publicly acknowledge that you did lose the 2020 election? Let me, let me just go on. If you look at True the Vote, they found millions of votes on camera, on government cameras, where uh, they were stuffing ballot boxes. What you just said there, Republican officials debunked those claims about fraudulent ballots. We want to give you a chance Who? tonight. Who? Republican officials Who? in Georgia and every single state. Uh, there is no, your own election officials, Mr. Look, President. Look, so we wanted to give you a chance. afraid to take on the issue. But we have a big problem in this country. We have we wanted elections, to give you a chance to we have elections that were horrible. If you look at what happened in Pennsylvania, Philadelphia, if you look at what happened in Detroit, Michigan, if you look at what happened in Atlanta, 
millions of votes, and all you have to do is take a look at government cameras. You'll see them. People going to 28 different voting booths to vote, to put in seven ballots apiece. But Mr. I mean, President, and they're all I have on to camera. stop you there, because, because there is no evidence of that. Your own election officials testified to that and have said that Republicans in these states did this. In Georgia, there were multiple recounts, including a hand recount. Okay, so this is this is what CNN CEO Chris Litt says to all of his CNN staffers on the call as he defended CNN Town Hall and Caitlin Collins. We all know covering Donald Trump is messy and tricky and will continue to be messy and tricky. But it's our job. We're going to do it fairly, toughly, and aggressively, as Caitlin did last night. I absolutely, unequivocally believe America was served very well by what we did last night, because it laid bare and created, in the words of Joe, of Joe Scarborough, a political earthquake, and that people woke up and they know what the stakes are in this election and in a way they didn't the day before and someone was going to ask tough questions and have that messy conversation it damn well should be on cnn i want to kick off by congratulating caitlin for what i can only call a masterful performance last night. I couldn't be more proud of her and the team that supported us on the ground and back home. It's tough to imagine anyone navigating such a tricky assignment with more ease than Caitlin. She asked tough questions, followed up, fact checked, fact checked again in real time. And as you can see, that was not an easy feat. I am aware that there has been people with opinions slash backlash and that is absolutely expected. And I will say this as clearly as I possibly can. You do not have to like the former president's answers, but you can't say that we didn't get them. Caitlin pressed him again and again and made news, made a lot of news. I think it's very important that we learned his positions on Ukraine, January 6th, abortion, election results, pardoning people. Our job is to get those answers and to hold them accountable in a way that no news organization has literally has done literally any years. While we all may have been uncomfortable hearing people clapping, that was also an important part of the story. Because pe the people in that audience represent a large swath of America, and the mistake the media made in the past is ignoring that those people exist. Just like you cannot ignore that President Trump exists. Moreover, CNN and Caitlin Collins did a super job. Caitlin Collins was able to answer asked the questions and she was able to immediately at least in my opinion hold Trump accountable by quickly fact checking him and making sure that uh, you know he he likely uh understand what he was in for. I wasn't going to be one of those people who wanted to boycott CNN because that's not something that I do on the internet. 
And I know that because boycott scene and was trended before by right wingers. And the fact that the left wanted to boycott scene and just because they didn't like the fact that CNN was going in a new direction for that very reason is not really something that I am willing to join because it's not productive in the first place. It is not productive to have a hashtag to boycott it, a network that is most likely the trusted name in you, news for years. And you can't just say this while we have Fox News that was sued for seven, eight million dollars or seven point seven seven five million dollars by Dominion. So that is probably where I should end this video here because at the end of the day you cannot convince everybody to stop watching CNN everybody is still going to be watching CNN regardless just like most when most people are still, still going to be watching Fox it's that's just the nature of the human mind these days people are still going to be watching what they still want to watch and you can't stop them stop them from watching so if you want to throw a hissy fit and tell everybody on twitter every day to stop watching cnn and boycott them well good luck in that but boycotts don't work and I'm not joining joining that fucking bo boycott scene and bullshit for obvious reasons, as I just said earlier. So don't even try that ever again. Like, come on, don't try that. Just get used to the new chapter that scene and is trying to, you know, experiment with. Like, it's already been a year and 10 months, and 10 days, and CN isn't even done exper experimenting, experimenting the it yet. So, I'm still giving Cena a chance, and I'll forever give them a chance for as long as it takes. And I will continue to defend Cena for as long as it takes. I'll continue to defend the cable news network and the journalist on that cable news network. Because nobody in the YouTube sphere defends CNN. They always criticize CNN. I'm the only person on YouTube, the only commentary channel on YouTube, who has to defend CNN. Because I am a avid television viewer and I really love to defend television outlets and I love to watch so you will be seeing more of that on this channel in the coming years if I'm able to make more videos by then 